There is a meaningful sense where systems of linear equations, vector equations, and matrix equations are the same thing. Let's look at that. We've already made the observation in section 1.3 that systems of linear equations and vector equations are really the same thing. If you take this system and you form vectors, out of these coefficients and vectors out of these numbers to the right of the equality, then this system of linear equations is the same as this vector, let's call it a sub one times x one plus this vector Vector, call it a sub two x two up to this vector, call it a sub n x n equals this vector b. And what we now have from section 1.3 is that a linear combination of vectors like this can be thought of as a vector times a, sorry, as a matrix times a vector. If you create a matrix, that has these a sub i as its columns, then this equality is the same as saying that this matrix times an unknown vector x1, x2 up to xn, equals B. And that's all there is to this video, except let's do an example to maybe make this less abstract. Say we have the system of linear equations. We're not going to solve it or anything like that. We're just going to make the observation that this system of linear equations has the same solution set as a vector equation. In particular, if you take these numbers, these numbers, and these numbers, and you make vectors out of them, the vector equation x1 times this vector plus x2 times this vector equals this vector. And this vector equation in turn is the same as the matrix equation. If you have this as your first column and this as your second column, times the unknown vector x1, x2 equals 
equals this vector. So three different ways of approaching the same problem. And as a consequence, equations that look like this, equations that look like this, and equations that look like this are all solved the same way. They're all solved using Gauss-Jordan elimination on an augmented matrix.